Hey guys, my name's Tom, and this is my review for the Dalby, Dubi, Dubai case for the DJI Mavic Pro. I've had this case for about two months now. I've used it a lot in that time, and I think that I'm qualified to give a pretty good objective review on the case and its pros and cons. Depending on which version of the Mavic you buy, it might come with a case from DJI. Mine came with this case, which is actually a surprisingly good case. The materials are really high quality, and it's super small, so if you take it somewhere, nobody's gonna question you or give you a hard time. And I know DJI made their case very small to emphasize the Mavic's portability, but they kind of made it, I think, a little too small. It's got room inside for the drone and the remote and then some extra pockets where you can fit batteries and chargers. And there are a lot of YouTube videos about this case and how to pack it full of like all the accessories. But for me, that just didn't work. This case from DJI works great if you just need to take your Mavic and an extra battery or two and go out for a couple of hours. But if you're going to travel or you wanna take more things with you, filters and chargers and all that kind of stuff, that case kind of becomes a hassle. There are a lot of videos on YouTube about how to pack that case filled with everything and all these strategies for actually fitting everything you need into that case. But that doesn't really work for me because what I need is something that's quick and efficient. I don't wanna to have to stop and like carefully unpack all this stuff that has been stuffed into this bag. And when I'm finished using the drone, I don't wanna to have to stop or make everyone wait while I like play this game of Tetris trying to get everything back into the case. So the reason that I chose this case specifically was because it kept that small size. It's pretty durable, it's not a hard case, but it's a pretty hard material. And it had the largest number of practical and usable compartments for the drone and all of the accessories you might need. Okay, so here's the case itself. If you wanna compare it to the DJI bag, there's kind of a size comparison. It's definitely bigger, but not really by much, and it's still relatively small. There's a comparison to my hand, so it's, you know, two hand sizes. If you open it up, then you have everything nice and neatly laid out, and this was super important to me, is to have a case where everything is clearly laid out and easy to get to. So inside you've got a compartment for the drone itself. I just keep a cleaning cloth here so the propellers don't scratch against it. You've got two extra battery compartments, a compartment for the multi-battery charger, uh, the regular charger, the remote, and this is great because this is a form molded compartment. If you're using something like a regular bag or the DJI bag itself, when you put the remote in the bag, you run the risk of the joysticks getting bent or broken or pushed around. And so you usually end up needing to buy one of these things that fits on top of it to stop them from moving. And it, these are super cheap, it's very easy to put on, but it's one more thing that you have to carry around and one more thing that you have to remember. And it's nice to just not have to deal with that. And then this extra compartment is listed as being for extra propellers and it's pretty deep so you could fit quite a few propellers in it. I actually don't usually keep propellers in there. I do a lot of shooting with the Sony RX100, and this camera fits in here perfectly. Another big reason, too, that I chose this specific case was because this compartment here also fits a battery. I currently only have three batteries. I have these two extras and then the one that's on the drone, but this charger can charge four batteries at once, so I definitely like to get a fourth battery, and when I do, I know that it can still fit in the case. Most cases don't have an extra compartment like this, and so you're just kind of stuck if you have a fourth battery. In addition to the main compartment, there's this top area here. There are no other pockets or compartments on this case. The great thing, though, is that the top is kind of concave, so there's a decent amount of space in here, which means you can put things in this top compartment, and they're not going to come down and be pressed against your actual drone and the valuable equipment. So the things that I tend to put in here usually, this is where I do keep my extra propellers, charging cable for the remote, micro SD adapter, the Polar Pro three-piece ND polarized filter set. If you don't have this, this will give amazing results with the Mavic. The DJI battery to power bank adapter, such a cool idea. And then the actual power cable for the drone's charger. I also keep a logbook in here. 
you have your part 107 certification and you don't have a logbook, technically you need one and I highly recommend that you get one. This one works great. It has just kind of these open pages where you just fill in all the information about your flight. And then theoretically, if for some reason in the future, the FAA ever audits you, this would be your record of how you did your flight, what maintenance you did, any accidents or crashes or repairs or anything that were made on your drone. Those are all gonna be in here. And that's about it. That's everything that fits in this case. So first I'll start with the pros. The pros, first thing, size. This keeps the Mavic's size small and that's why I wanted to buy the Mavic in the first place. There are lots of cases, lots of hard plastic cases and Pelican style cases that you could throw off the side of a mountain and all of your stuff would still be totally fine, but they're usually huge and bulky. If I wanted to carry a big bulky case, I would have gotten a Phantom 4 with better image quality and then I would carry a big bulky case for it. But the Mavic is the perfect combination of good image quality and incredible portability. It only weighs 7.1 pounds when I have it loaded with all of my stuff so it's not too heavy. It's definitely small enough that it's easy to just grab and go. If you have one of those big giant bulky cases, you're only gonna take it when you know for sure you're gonna use it. You don't wanna just put it in your car just in case. This is an easy thing to just grab and take with you if you think there's even the smallest possibility of using your drone, which is great because that helps you to use your drone more because you tend to have it with you more. The second pro that I'll mention is the fit. Everything in here fits really well. Even after several months of use, this stuff hasn't like come loose or anything. It all still fits very snugly. There are really only three cons that I found so far with this case and none of them are a huge deal. The first one is the shoulder strap that it comes with. Good part, the latches are made out of metal, but they're still kind of small and flimsy and the strap itself is really thin. So when you wear this, it kind of digs into your shoulder a little bit and it's not super comfortable. If I were really gonna go on a long hike or something using the shoulder strap, I would definitely get a different strap for this. The parts where it connects to the case though are, are put on very, very well. So it's just the strap itself. Second con, which again, this might just be a personal thing. I kind of find it strange that the handle is on the side with the hinge. Personally, I would have preferred to have the handle on the side where the zippers close, possibly even with a latch to like really secure that it's closed. And again, I'm not sure if this is a con or not, but there are these little marks right here. And these little marks come from the zipper that's on the top. When it closes, the zipper presses in right there. It's no big deal, does not affect the functionality. It's actually a good thing because it shows you the zipper is not being pressed into any of the actual equipment. There are several cases of this style where the zippers land on top of the Mavic itself. I don't want the case to damage the thing it's supposed to protect. And then the last thing, which may or may not technically be a con, but it will be the first thing you notice when you get this case, you will take it out of the package, you will open it up, and this smell is just gonna hit you in the face like a ton of bricks. It's like if this thing has been sitting in a smoker's house for 20 years kind of a smell, it's disgusting. My first thought immediately was that I was gonna have to return this like that same day. Luckily though, I decided to kind of give it a shot and I just took this foam out and then put the case and the foam separately and just let them sit overnight. And by the next day, the smell had gone down quite a bit. And after two days, the smell was totally gone. At this point, you can put your nose right up to it and it doesn't smell like anything. For 35 or $40, this is an excellent deal. So if it comes down to the question of should or should you not buy the Dalby Doobie Dubai Dobby case, I definitely say Dubai. Sorry.